addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of functions. Let's try some exercises on adding and subtracting functions. For a function f of x equals 3x plus 8, and g of x equals 2x minus 12. Find f plus g, and f minus g. This will be our working formula. Here is the function f, then the function g. To simplify, just combine similar terms, all those terms with x, then all the constants. This will be our working formula. Here is the function f, then the function g. In subtracting, always remember to distribute the negative to each of the terms of the subtrahend or the second function. This process will result to changing the sign of each of the terms from positive to negative and negative to positive. To simplify, just combine similar terms, all those terms with x, then all the constants. Let's try another exercise on adding and subtracting functions. For a function f of x equals 4x squared plus 5, and g of x equals 2x cubed plus 3. Find f plus g, and f minus g. This will be our working formula. Here is the function f, then the function g. To simplify, just combine similar terms. All those terms with x having same exponent only. In this case, the x cubed cannot combine with x squared. Then simplify all the constants. This will be our working formula. Here is the function f, then the function g. In subtracting, always remember to distribute the negative to each of the terms of the subtrahend or the second function. This process will result to changing the signs of each of the term in the subtrahend or the second function. From positive to negative on both terms. To simplify, just combine similar terms. All those terms with x having same exponent only. In this case, the x cubed cannot combine with x squared. Then simplify all the constants. Let's try an exercise on multiplying functions. For a function f of x equals x plus 2, and g of x equals x plus 3. Find f plus g, and f minus g. In these case, we will use the FOIL method. Multiply the first terms. Next multiply the outer terms. Then multiply the inner terms. And then multiply the last terms.
To simplify, just combine similar terms. Let's do another exercise on multiplication of functions. For a function f of x equals x squared minus 1, and g of x equals x plus 1. Find f times g. In these case, we will use the FOIL method. Multiply the first terms. Next multiply the outer terms. Then multiply the inner terms. And then multiply the last terms. Then simplify. In this case, there are no similar terms. Let's try to divide these given functions. For a function f of x equals x squared minus 1, and g of x equals x plus 1. Find f divided by g. When dividing functions, look for ways to simplify the function. In this case, we can factor the numerator. Afterwards, look for similar factors that can be cancelled out. When you insert a function within another function, the result is a composite function. This is also formed when you apply a function to the result of another function. The composition of function g with function f is written as g of f of x. Let's try some exercises on composite functions. For function f of x equals x minus 2, and g of x equals x squared. Find g of f of x. When solving composite functions, first we write the first function. Then we replace all the x with the second function. Then just simplify the terms to get the function. Given the same functions, f of x equals x minus 2, and g of x equals x squared, find f of g of x. When solving composite functions, first we write the first function. Then we replace all the x with the second function. Then just simplify the terms to get the function.